Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to make this modern looking May basket using supplies from our sponsor Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Now let me give you a little peek inside the, uh, the little pail here and we got lots of candies and for those of you who don't know what May Day is or what a May basket is, basically what you do is decorate a little basket fill it with candy and hang it on a neighbor's doorknob or put it on their porch and then knock on the door and run away really quick on the first day of May and uh, they get this little surprise of candy and it's just kind of fun guessing who left you a May basket. Um, we used to always do this as kids usually for our like elderly neighbors and stuff and it was a uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to use these cute little pails and this is the four inch by five inch size and you can get them in quantities of six or 24 depending on how much you want. They're either side of two bucks a piece depending on how much you want to get and um, they're very very cute and useful and the way we're going to decorate this is going to be completely rever reversible you can take everything off and out of these containers and have a brand new pail again so I wanted to make sure it was reusable because I hate to see really cute stuff get thrown away first thing we're going to do is uh, make a template and I measured this and um, this was the uh, the height of the clear part was about four and a half inches and the circumference was uh, just over 12 and I wanted a little bit smaller for the inside. I think I ended up cutting my paper to um, 12 and a quarter by four and a half and here it is right here just a piece of white uh, drawing paper. You can use wrapping paper anything it's just to give you something to work on and then I just cut some strips out of my larger rolls of crepe paper. I'm just going to show you how they come. This is a super versatile product and um, I'll put a link to it below so you can find it but it comes in a variety of colors and it's heavyweight and wonderful to work with. It's so great for flowers too. I just um, I just love this paper and I used a couple different colors and I wanted to kind of represent a sunset here um, instead of doing kind of like a frilly Eastery looking one because Easter's gone by I really wanted to have it kind of a, a modern look. I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm just going to give it a little bit of glue on the back of my drawing paper. I'm going to leave an, uh, like a kind of like a little lip which will be kind of tucked behind there so you'll have about a quarter inch on the end with nothing on it. It's just going to help it uh, neatly kind of roll up in that little bit will be tucked behind. It's just a just a little kind of overlap area and then I thought the next color in our sunset would be nice if it was orange and I've already cut that. I want it to kind of be up a little bit so to make sure that my glue doesn't show I'm actually going to put the glue right on the crepe paper. I don't want to accidentally glue it too high and then be able to see it. So since we're doing all this decorating on that strip of paper, the pail is going to remain pristine. A pristine pail. I think those are so cute. I think they would be really cute, like a cute way to store like maybe ribbon scraps or um, patterned paper scraps or fabric scraps or something so you can see through it. I love to be able to store things by color. Oh, buttons. Buttons would be so cute in there. All right. And if you cut your paper a little short, the thing that's great about crepe paper is you can actually stretch it a little bit, which is really handy if you're not very precision oriented like myself. I'm always cutting stuff wrong and usually can't <laughs> can't stretch other things. Paper doesn't, regular paper doesn't stretch. That's what I love about great paper. All right so now I've got, just got these kind of waves of sunset colors and you will, I notice this on some paper, your, sometimes your glue will show through and then when it cools it doesn't with a hot glue. Now for this I want to make kind of like some grass and on the pail here I scrunched it and then I put it in and I'm not sure if I really like that I think because some scrunched and some laid flat so I think I might just um, kind of fringe it and just maybe give it a, like a little trim and then put it in and not scrunch it. We'll see how that looks. So I'm just gonna go through with my regular scissors. I tried my fringing scissors on this and um, the paper's too soft for the fringing scissors to cut very well. Just to let you know that in case you have those fringing ones. You can try it but I find it just didn't want to cut along the striation like this. And I think if I put that down like that I think I want to give it a, a little bit of a curve as well just like I did with my um, with my kind of sunset area. Let's see how that works. I feel like I want to be able to see those little slits but I don't know if it's going to really work that well. But I didn't really like the way I, I wanted it differently than how I first did it. Maybe if I just kind of jagged my cuts a little bit so you can see the edges of the grass. I like that a little bit better. It's a little more random. You can see the and if I stretch it out a little bit we can also see the spaces between the grass. I think I like that and I can just trim off a little bit on the end. See? Versatility! Versatility! I'm going to do a bead of glue right along there. 
and I'll just trim it on the ends so we don't need to worry about that and then I got this really pretty ribbon that I wanted to use um, it's a lovely print and I think it's going to be beautiful on cards and scrapbooks but I just loved that design so I'm going to put that right along the edge I just need just enough to go across and we'll just glue that down. I think I've got a lot of different ideas for this ribbon, but I thought I would just kind of break it out and see how I liked on this project um, because it is so pretty. And I'm just one single bead of glue right along the bottom is all you need for that. And sometimes I find if you're not so sure if your ribbon is too sheer, if the glue is going to show through, putting the glue on your substrate instead of on the ribbon um, generally helps because it's not going to seep into the ribbon as easily. Now I'm going to trim up the end here so that everything is nice and flush all right and then we just need to put it inside of our pail got a little green in there all right so gonna take the lid off you can use like a little screwdriver or cheese or anything it doesn't it doesn't it's not like a paint can where you have to like really work to get the uh to get the lid off it's much easier and I, it's probably I'm not sure it's probably not waterproof so I just I also want to let you know that so I'm just going to kind of curl this around you might want to work it a little bit just to make sure that it's going to curl good for you and I'm going to roll it up and plop it right in there there we go and then just reach in there with your fingers and spread it out I want to make sure that we get if we see any strips like that if we can't get it to um to fold right we'll just pull it out and trim it so it's not a really big deal I think I'm gonna pull that out and trim it it seems like that I trim the backing paper a little bit so let's just pull that out and trim that back a little bit there we go just give that little edge give it a little bit of room there we can go back in the hole again there we go Sometimes that paper can move on us, so we just want to make sure we have it nice and neat. And then just work it, pushing it all out. And you might even want to like find the seam in the pail and match that up with the seam in your artwork, if that's important to you. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but it's something to think about. Okay, and then just kind of push it up under the lip of the edge and it will lock it in place pretty well but it can be pulled out like you just saw us do it it can be pulled out afterwards so that you can reuse the pail and I did get some pieces bending over I'm not going to worry about that because I think it is just fine now to fill our, um, our box with candy now you don't need to do this but I think it does add quite a bit to the presentation you want to cut off a piece of jeweler's tissue and I find this easier to work with on a small project because it comes in a small roll in, um, in ivory and I will put a link below to that as well but I believe it's acid free too so you can actually use it in your art projects I can actually test it I think I've got my my pen around here somewhere we'll, we'll come back to that um, so you want to just put the tissue in there and fill it with candy Skittles yum actually I don't like Skittles I'm totally faking that one actually I'm not much for sweets <laughs> There we go. And then the final touch is to take some pine, uh, pineapples. Why do I want to say pineapples? Take some pipe cleaners and we're going to wrap it around the lid of our pail. <laughs> pipe cleaners also known as pineapples. I have pineapples on the brain. Um, oh, by the way, the easiest way to do this is to fold it in half. Okay, and wrap one side then wrap the other. The reason I have pineapples on the brain is because I actually started doing a totally different project. I was, well, I was going to make a May basket, but I was thinking, well, I want to use all these little, um, these little rose petals that I had. That will be pretty. I'll glue these down onto a paper cup and it's going to be the most beautiful thing ever. You want to see what, like, let me just show you what that looks like. It kind of looks like a deranged pineapple. So this is what you almost ended up making today, folks. Aren't you glad I rethought it? Because I'm like, this is just, nobody's going to make this. So, you know, we all have our craft fails. I thought I would share that with you. Show you share my pineapple make basket craft fail. Oh my gosh. Hey, in the comments, write pineapple may basket craft fa fail if you're still watching. I will just totally get a kick out of that if anyone's still watching. And people are going to be looking at the comments being like, why are people saying pineapple may basket craft fail? <laughs> They'll be like, what's wrong with these people? Is this some sort of like flash mob or something? Um, 
but that'd be totally funny, I think. Um, so you want to just continue wrapping your pipe cleaners around. Do um, orange on one side and pink on the other. I did the yellow in the middle because it just has a little more contrast. And you can see here, this one is all done. Oh, for the center, I just cut like a three and an eighth inch circle and I just pushed it in. There's just enough tension there to hold it into the lid so I don't even need to glue it. So this is completely reversible and you can, um, you can use this for something else later. Your recipient can reuse it for a gift or whatever. I just think these clear pails are such a quick and easy way to package something. And um, they're totally a lot of fun for storage or gifting or what have you. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my video channel if you don't already and watch more. That's what I love. And also don't forget to visit our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.